inside the midge. So just a quick video for all you guys that's got your little midges coming soon. So this is how we put them together. Um, space is tight so I thought we'd make a quick video on where everything is going. So starting here at the back, this little gap is for our arm status LED, uh, which isn't wired on this one yet, but um, that's what that holds for. This is a, um, a resistor for the LED system. So if you're using these LEDs, then they get extremely hot. So um, we've put a drop resistor on this one because it's, it sits on the bench on a lot. So it stops them heating up. So um, as you can see on the flight controller, there's no headers, there's just limited space, so everything is soldered straight to the board here. Now where the space saving comes in is really in the top plate. So we've got the video transmitter and the RX here. This is an orange uh, 615X, but I know a lot of you guys will be using the Tyrannus. So there's a space here. Um, for that, with a couple of holes for the aerials to come through. Um, on the VTX, we decase them, we decase the RX as well. Um, but on the VTX, we just hard solder an extension 190 on it. Um, if you can see that one there. So, chop the, the existing connector off, solder it on, and then as you can see here, um, we'll run that extension through that top hole. It just means you can position your VTX anywhere you want. Um, as for the RX, decased and obviously PPM, so single wire onto the flight controller. So that's how it's positioned um, for the space. If you use headers, then you really struggle. You know, there is, there's very little space to, to fit these modules unless you put them on the top plate. So if we flip that over, you can see there that that sits there nice and neat. So for the camera, we've got the camera top plate and the Amway swivel mount here, um, similar to the, the Vortex design. Obviously it's a bit tight, so it doesn't swivel, but that goes in the gap and then in the kit we've got these little rubber mounts. So it just gives you enough lift on the camera to get a decent swivel. So we'll just put two of these in. Another important thing before you get to this stage is make sure that you've got your lens focused and clamped because it's really tight and difficult to make that change once it's in. So straighten that camera up and then that sits nicely on these little rubber inertic mounts um, which we're struggling to find to be honest but we'll try and get as many out as possible. So, as you can see now, the camera sits there and can be adjusted to a decent uh, angle for FPV. Remember, tighten up that screw before you put this rubber mount in and lock that in the angle that you want. The top plate really is designed around the new 808, which is the same spec as a Mobius, but in a smaller package. Um, so hopefully we're going to have a 3D printed uh, mount system that fits on this plate and gives you the nice camera tilt for that. At the back, we're using the new video area systems race spec antennas. Excellent, nice and stubby, got a little... Um, swivel in it so if you crash you know it, it bends so there's air blade and air um, screw um, left and right hand polarized so that's just a quick little look inside as you can see there's a buzzer there as well so we just take we zip that tie that buzzer on there round the back 
XT60 on a little reptile uh, power distribution board back and 90 degree offset on the SP racing board we've got on this one so that you can have the USB out the side and at the front swivel mount on our little plate sits nicely in the gap and if you so desire CC on top of the CC the camera, the little Mobius 808 fits on there nicely. You don't want to laden these little things up with too much. So I hope that helps and we'll be shipping the first batch to all the pre-order guys tomorrow. That's Friday. Thanks. Out.